Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. You may notice I'm not in Chamonix, that's because I'm in London and I've been filming here all week. Now today's show is part one of our training series with Jerry Moffitt and we're using Petra Klinger to show off some mental training. Hi, I'm Jerry Moffat, ex-pro climber from the 80s and 90s and owner of the Foundry Climbing Wall in Sheffield. Together with Hannes Huch from Cafe Craft, we've just finished a book on mental training for climbing. We're going to be doing a two-part series with Epic TV, looking at the best ways you can train mentally and physically for your projects, both inside and out. We're going to be working with some of the top pros in the world. The main concept of the book was to break down the different elements needed for an optimum performance. So we started with the real basics, success, motivation, concentration. We explained exactly what they are. Then we go into how you can use those different elements and put them into your climbing. Anytime you're gonna to wanna to do something that's important to you, really important to you, you're gonna feel pressure. That pressure will come over as anxiety and fear. Now, it's a really, really strong emotion. It's probably one of the most strongest emotions you can have, fear. You're looking at a car crash, fear. There's no stronger emotion. What you have to be able to do is know that you're gonna feel that fear, be ready early on of how you're gonna embrace it. So a long time before you come to your specific climb that you wanna do, you know that you're gonna feel fear, it comes along, you stand at the bottom of the crag, you get nervous. You're ready for those nerves and you go, I can accept those nerves, I'm gonna use those, they're gonna give me adrenaline and they're gonna make me focus specifically on what I want to do for the climb. In climbing especially, I think the, the brain work is essential. So each kind of physical training is also a mental training. Even if it's just doing pull-ups, you can mentally push yourself. And if you manage to mentally push yourself in training, you will also manage doing it at comps. So it's a constant training. And also after training, I try to, or I think it just happens that I think about my training. What could I have done better? What do I want to work on? What is my new next goal? Or uh, it's kind of constantly working. So really, for me, I have to feel inside what do I need? What do I need today? Am I too nervous, not nervous enough? And there are like the little screws you can turn on and you have to know yourself really well. And then you can adjust. I have different, different ways of coping with negative feelings or thoughts. Um, one way is really, as I said, just write it down, make a fact out of it and accept it. Another way sometimes is also just visualizing it, kind of taking it, putting it in a box, lock the box and throw it in the river. It's kind of my image. And then sometimes later I also can go back there and take it out and think about it. Because it's not, it's for me, negative things it's not the way to just ignore them or put them away, but you have to cope with them. You have to think about them. Research has shown that the more you can narrow down your field of focus, the more you can concentrate. And ideally, you just want to be concentrating on one thing, getting to the top of that climb. You need to surround yourself with positivity. Self-talk is a good one. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do great on this. Thinking about something, using imagery, positive thoughts. If a friend of yours has just climbed well, go up to them, congratulate them, over congratulate them and let their positivity rub off on you. You need to be in a euphoric state of, yes, I feel good today, just before you do that climb. It's all about you succeeding and achieving a winning performance. If you want to learn more about mental training and how to succeed, there's a link below. And if you're in the area, pop into Cafe Craft. Cheers that, Jerry, and thank you, Petra. Part two coming next week. See you soon.